Let's play some ACDC back and back, shall we? One of the classics, one of the big staples of just rock music, period. I gotta do a video on this. No matter if you like ACDC or, or not, they are just such a staple, such a, a classic rock band. You gotta do ACDC. Um, this song's called Back in Black. Basically, everyone just thinks it's number one. It kind of is, just one bass drum, one snare. Yes, I'm playing light because eventually there'll be music going and I want you guys to be able to hear the music. So I'm playing with my lightning rods. Lightning rods by Promark. Buy them. There's also cool rods and hot rods. I personally like the lightning rods. All right, um, so number one. And then here's the fill. We're gonna do snare by itself. Snare by itself, hi-hat and bass drum together. It's kind of, seems easy, but it's not. Um, basically, your snare is left hand, so you, I always go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so basically do that three times one, two, three, and then two, and then two on the snares. Okay. Also lift up uh, the hi-hat uh, instead of just striking it. How about you lift it up? That sounds pretty cool. Think about the guitar line. Ready, go. Okay. So that is the verse, okay? So the verse just has those in it. Um, the fourth time you play that riff or that fill, that drum fill, the fourth time you play that, um, instead of two snares, you just do three. You're doing left, right anyways, so left, right, left, crash. So three of these, three of those, okay? Fourth time you do that. Ready, go. And then you just play number one, strike a crash on the one, every single one. Crash. Until back in black. Okay? So it's three crashes. Back in black. Repeat. That's all it is. And that's all the beginning is. I can get you halfway through the entire song just with that, okay? Here we go. Eight clicks and then we're in. ACDC back in black, the middle section, the guitar solo. Uh, you're basically going to do number one again, one bass drum, one snare. There's going to be some crashes, some accents. They are going to go. It's that simple. Just replace your hi hat with a crash. Replacing it. That's all there is to that part. You 
basically would do that every other time, so you'll hear as I play it. Um, after that, uh, another back in black, and then whenever the guitar goes battle da da ba dum ba dum ba dum battle da 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 it's the exact same thing that I taught you guys earlier, uh, except you can just do those on crashes. Um, instead of the hi hat, so instead of the going to replace it with the crash you can do that uh, also that it, you can do that before the very first verse before he first uh, sings at all there are a couple crashes replacing the hi-hat I just wanted to give you a, a good cookie cutter general this is how you play the song so once again after that guitar solo part if you will you're gonna stop back in black uh, the guitar is going to have a da 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 all by itself. Da 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 I like to play all three here. I'm on the crash, and I just like to play all three together. You don't have to do uh, your eighth notes or anything. You can do just big quarter notes if you want. However you want to do that. Everything together with eighth notes. Notice there's a couple, an extra bass drum in there. So it's like one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. You can leave it there on the crash. You can put the and four somewhere else or and one. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Just have fun with it, put it wherever you want. Um, that's the fill to get out of that part. And then you're basically back into the chorus. Back in black, okay? Um, let's see how far that makes us, or that gets us. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there's a back in black. There's an extra crash there. Sorry. Uh, but that'll get you there. Then you stop. Oh, 
Hopefully that helps anyways. All right, thank you.